And the big news today, of course, is, oh, what is it one, one, two? Oh, yeah, they're talking about changes in gun control. Can you imagine that? Oh, yes. States alongside the border should have different gun control laws. Makes you think, doesn't it? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Start off with the fact Obama used the 14th Amendment to seize control of the nation. Okay, you might want to look at the beginning. Obama's using the 14th Amendment to seize control of the nation. Yes, there's nothing in the 14th Amendment that gives him the right to do such, except there's a part that has to do with issuing bonds. And they're uh, basically, that they, they think that he can basically take over the financials of the country by issuing three, four trillion dollars in Obama bonds. They're talking this morning, will the President of the United States put his own face on the new worthless bonds that he's going to be issuing? Uh, he's going to go over the head of the Congress of the United States, what she's already done many times. Mm -hmm. He's seizing gun control, he's taking gun control out of the hands of the Congress. He's going to be printing his own money. You know, uh, so in, in the trick is, under the 14th Amendment, he also can basically legalize all illegal aliens, too. Ooh. Isn't that a good one? The 14th Amendment was never meant to be the way he's going to use it, but their lawyers are talking. Okay, here's the trick is, the lawyers are talking to him about it. If the lawyers are talking to him about it, he intends to do it. Yep. And Treasury sec secretly weighs options to avert default. Okay, first of all, uh, I mean, I mean, okay. Uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly is as big an a-hole as is the President of the United States. The Republicans better not do that because they'll take, they'll destroy the party and destroy our nation. No, all you have to do is to okay, uh, two hundred or three hundred billion dollars pays the interest on Obama's spending. All you got to do is to find three hundred billion dollars for a year and you don't default. Means you cut spending somewhere. Put 300 billion over, and you don't default. So there is no August 1st date. August 1st is when they actually have to start thinking about where the 300 billion is coming from. Hopefully, they're thinking about it already. Yeah, but it's the total. In, okay, the I think people like Bill O'Reilly and other people like that are the most incompetent individuals. You know, there uh, Bill O'Reilly thrives on causing problems, and he's basically siding with Obama. Remember, Fox News supported Obama for presidency. And Bill O'Reilly basically worships the ground that Barack Obama walks on. So he sides with Obama on the Republican. Well, we can't raise taxes, but we have to raise revenue. But isn't that raising taxes? Mm -hmm. And Jackson urges all stars to speak out against the law. Oh, I, I love that. That they want the all they want the all stars to. I, I love this. As soon as they come, as soon as they announced on the field, they want the uh, all star players to leave the field. Mm -hmm. They already have got, here's a good one, 16 players have already decided not to play. Eight of them are legitimate and the other eight aren't. Eight of them have injuries or pitchers that pitched on Sunday, so they can't play. The others are basically, they, they happen to be left-wing Democrats that don't believe in the, uh, 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 they think that all illegal aliens should be allowed to stay in our country. Mm -hmm. And Pakistan holding doctor used by CIA to gather bin Laden DNA. Yeah, because first of all, they don't believe it was bin Laden any more than I do. <laughs> and the doctor that basically is a guy that signified, you can't do a DNA test in a matter of hours. It doesn't work that way, folks. Just remember, you know, you go look at, the, you know, even on television, they tell you you have to send the DNA to be checked on. And yeah, all the tests you always have to do. be done. So they're doing it in a matter of, uh, you know, because Obama had to be buried or something within 24 hours, but in 24 hours... Oh, you mean Bin Laden? Uh, bin Laden. But Bin Laden, DNA had been checked and approved and verified. No. Oh, and yeah, well, that's not kind 20, of... That's a little bit too fast. Yeah, strauss con accuser asked prosecutor to step down. Because they're not, they're, they're going to prosecute her. They said what's going to happen if she doesn't back off, they're going to throw her in a jail cell. They, uh... They, you know, so, so why is she asking the prosecutor to step down? Because she's wanting a prosecutor appointed that will prosecute the case, even though they, they've got her on grant. She's lied to the grand jury. She's lied to the police. She's lied to the State Department. She's lied to everybody you can think of. They can't prosecute a case with a liar on this. They said they can't. She can't take the stand. 
Yeah. So how does she pro how do they prosecute a case where the main witness can't take the stand because they'll the defense will simply bring up the judge has to allow did you commit perjury here? Did you commit perjury there? Did you get the and one thrown out? Did you previously say that you were repeatedly raped and then uh, and then withdraw it? when it was found out that you're actually the girlfriend of the guys that you said were raping you mm. and that you're in business with them. So, I think you did no case. And Arizona State Senator's handling of her gun draws fire. It's ridiculous, folks. I mean, it isn't against the law to have firearms. And you can wear a firearm on your hip in public. But, you know, you shouldn't do that because it, Obama doesn't like it. Arizona is one of those states that Obama put the new gun control legislation on. Mm -hmm. just, and, and they, okay, to put it this way, if you're a Republican state, Obama put, yesterday put new gun control legislation on you that prohib will basically prohibit you from defending yourself from people coming onto your property, mm -hmm. uh, which basically will be thrown out court because it, only the Congress of the United States has the power to do regulatory things, not the president. Oh, and EU slams ratings agencies after Portugal downgraded. Yeah, okay. The, half the countries in Europe are going to default on loans. Right. And they're, they're trying to basically uh, put the best face on it. But the best face is every stock market in the entire world had a total collapse this morning except the United States. And there's no and with and there's no reason for the United States to be up except um, oh I'll get mad bull now. All of the businesses that our president owns that did massively well. Nobody else is doing well, but government owned industries are all doing well today on the market. Mm -hmm. So guess where some of that you guess where stimulus money goes, folks? Mm -hmm. It goes in to pump the market up. When the market is up, he sells and puts the money back in a stimulus fund. And he, he loses money all the time, but you're never going to lose more than the principal because there's like big trillions of it. So. And scientists find first superbug strain of gonorrhea. It means that basically there's lots of superbug strains. That I remember I remember when I was young, they used to tell people that there's some of the stuff you couldn't kill no matter what. So. Yeah, just talk to roaches and fleas. That's right. <laughs> they just get stronger. And B of A loses bid to end half mortgage lawsuit. Okay, this is ridiculous. All they did was follow, okay, B of A was in a business. They had to make loans to people. The government set the qualifications for the loans. If you follow the government's qualifications for the loans, you shouldn't be sued for loaning to people that shouldn't have been able to qualify under regular standards. And here's the good part, folks, for Mad Bull. Because the housing industry is in such bad state, they, uh, they're starting to lower the requirements for loans at Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and FHA. Oh, really? Isn't that amazing? they got so many homes on the market that people have lost. Connie Wilson is getting ready to lose her home this month. Oh, really? A, a person that basically, you know, recording person, just uh, was in a motion picture, and a new album is out. She's going, you know, $1.6 million behind in payments. Out. Rocker accused of pharmacy theft hours before U.S. concert. I know that is sort of ridiculous. Something doesn't but sound right on that. Walgreens and stole uh, over-the-counter uh, drugs. Uh, he could get uh, high before he went on, which usually you go and buy beer. Well, something doesn't seem right. Why would, would would you do something stupid like that? Because he knows that Obama is getting ready to legalize even heroin, and he mm -hmm. figured it. That they won't do anything to me because I'm not an American, so they're not going to try me for just doing something the president says is all right. Well, they don't prosecute illegal aliens, so. I know it. Yeah. Believers in Mysterious Planet predicts Earth's end. I know. It's just, they're always, okay. I find it amazing that 212 is an election year for the United States. Our president is trying to destroy our country, and the Mayans predict the end of the world in 212. Oh, they do? No, yeah, maybe it's the end of the world as some people know it. Ah. Well, didn't they talk about, wasn't it supposed to be the end of the world earlier this year? Oh, end of the world, yeah. My, my asteroids got hit us everything else, so. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. This is more of an old camp thing. You know you're getting old 
when an actor that you worked with and you were both young, 55 years ago, was celebrated for 24 hours on Turner Classic Movies for his 80th birthday? <laughs> 